In today's video, we are going to be testing viral Sims 4 build hacks from TikTok and seeing if they work. I have a little playlist going already on different TikTok hacks for the Sims 4. Basically, I've already built this house. I was going for like a modern suburban kind of family home vibe because a lot of the hacks that we're going to see today are actually family home hacks, which is going to be really nice, really exciting. And I got some good ones today. I don't know how I missed these in the other TikTok hack videos, but let's get into it. So we're going to start here with Sarah Kendall, my girl, and we're gonna do this like window hack. It looks fairly easy and the payoff is beautiful. Also, this can be done with Sims 4 base game. So we're gonna be manipulating roof pieces here and I'm gonna do it for like a small piece of my house. So when I built this around the back, I've already kind of sectioned off this little part. I don't wanna take up the entire thing like in the video, but I just wanna do this little part here. So I think I'm gonna have to punch out the walls and section off this piece. Just like a little one by two rectangle area here. And I think I need to punch these walls out, which might interfere with my roof and my lighting, but we'll see how it goes once we're done. Okay, so we're gonna start with the roof piece and turn it in like this and kind of just adjust so that it's hitting that top part. Okay, I think I have to make sure that the wall part is within here. So we're gonna use these arrows and pull them out. Basically, I'm trying to get rid of that little wall piece in there. Ooh, I think I figured it out. Okay, so I had this part closed off. This back part here needs to be open because if not, it'll pop up and say that it needs to be an enclosed room. So it has to look exactly like this with no wall on the inside. And then we use the small arrows to adjust and pull it across. This way, when we put our glass on there, we're not gonna see that wall piece that we were seeing earlier. That's genius. And basically, I'm just gonna copy it and paste it on the top here. Assuming, again, I'm gonna have to do the same thing and open that up. That is a really, really cool hack. The only problem I see here with this now is that it's gonna affect my lighting, I think. And it kind of looks a little strange on the inside. I mean, I'm sure you could probably manipulate it, but closing that off will delete my roof piece, I think. Unless I'm doing it wrong. So instead, to kind of combat that and the lighting issue, I'm just gonna section that piece off. This does look cool. I feel like there's probably a better way to do this. Because I do have my window, it's just like not really going into the house, you know what I mean? And in the video, it did say that it is functional, but the lighting might be a little weird. So I'm assuming that that's what I had to do by like blocking it off. Okay, let's move on to the next hack. This one is more so like a fix for certain fences that you don't like in the game. There's this one fence, I think it's from City Living, the one that she's using that kind of like adds those extra poles for no reason. So she's found a way to actually fix this. You're gonna go in with like a base game fence and then place it down and then replace the fence and you get this nice glass wall instead of those little poles in between. Let's test it out. I'm already using one that I really like. This is from Get Together, but if you don't have Get Together, this could work for you. So yeah, City Living has that annoying like pole in the middle. I think also the base game ones, that one's even worse. Okay, so let's see if I replace it. I'm gonna use the same one that she used. Let's see if I replace it with a base game one and then go back in with the same base game fence. Okay, that didn't work. What if I do like a little more? Maybe it's just the City Living one? It's not working for me. I must be be doing something wrong. I'm gonna try this city living one. I'm so confused. I really thought this one would work. I'm trying like corner pieces, middle pieces. I can't get it to work for some reason. I've tried using different fences. I must be doing something wrong, but this is the first one that absolutely doesn't work for me. This hack is super adorable. I really just wanted to do a family home so that I could do this. It's like a kid's playhouse. You're basically building a little mini house, but then they go in with swings. It's really, really cute. They use fencing along the sides so that it's more open and not kind of like closed off and unsafe for kids. I think they're using custom content in there for those swings, but I think I could get away with using an island living one in there or something. Or like Seasons has a swing set. Let's try this. By the way, as always, all of our creators are gonna be linked down below. I'm gonna build this one exactly the way that they've built it. Oh, you know what is kind of annoying though? I'm using medium wall heights for this house here and I can't change that one because it's just gonna change the entire house. So like that might be a problem if you're not doing the shortest wall height because look, how big this is. Okay, we've got columns on the side here, some roofing over here as well. Then this gets turned to fencing. I'm just gonna use a base game one. I think they use stairs, but I kind of wanna use a ladder instead. There was stairs going along the side, but since my wall height is so high, these stairs are gonna be huge. I mean, it does kind of look more like the jungle gym style. That's gonna save room though. I don't want it to look too messy. I think that still looks super cute. Okay, I'm gonna decorate. Oh, this is actually really, really sweet. 100% functional. I haven't added my swing set yet though. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so that I can fit it properly. Yeah, this is super adorable. 100% functional. I added a door on the side here so that they can get in a little toy box and uni. Up there we've got a dollhouse and some pillows. This is a really great idea, I think. And you can customize this however you 
want. I wish I didn't have the medium wall height restriction because it would look a lot better with my swings, I think. Yeah, this is a great idea. I really like this. This is cute. The final one we're gonna do for the exterior before we go inside is this custom door trick. This Sims 4 build hack is gonna be really easy. Essentially, you could do it with base game. You could do it with different doors if you want. So let's try this out. I'm actually gonna replace my back door here. I'm using the Moschino one. We're gonna get rid of it. Let's do this one here. I'm gonna have them facing the same way and then I can go in with that archway that they used. This one and put that over top. That's kind of cool. They have like different patterns with that, with that archway from base game too. I kind of love that. I'm gonna use that one. I feel like that looks best. You could replace that door in the middle with literally any other door. Let's say I wanted to use the dream home decorator one. I wanted to change it up a little bit. You could do that. This is a cool hack. I like that. I really like how that looks in the back. I think that's all I got for exterior hacks today. We're gonna have a lot of interior, so let's go inside. I think I'm gonna add maybe a couple of trees here for some privacy for my massive kids play area. <laughs> do I like put a tree right in front of it? I mean, I feel like yes. I was gonna fence it in, but like this lot is in the middle of nowhere. I kind of feel like it's counterproductive. I'm gonna leave it. Big old tree covering that thing. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. This creator here has this really cute stair hack that I want to use. Ooh, spicy. We love to see it. So we've got the double stair moment. We're adding some of the like eco lifestyle vertical lines and just adding a little bit of decor to make it look not so boring. Sim stairs are always just, they have nothing on them. So this is kind of a way to like spruce it up a little bit. And I think they do an underneath little seating area too, which could be cute. I like that. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put my stairs over in this corner here. So let's go in. I think my stairs are gonna be black. It was a double stair moment as well. And we're gonna turn it around this way. Only problem with this is it's gonna take up a lot of room. I wonder if this is functional. I wonder if the Sims will be able to sit on there. I kind of doubt it, but I do think it's worth a shot. Unless we manipulate it so that there's a platform right here, I think then maybe they would be able to sit here. Like I could do my stairs like this. That would kind of defeat the point because I can't really do anything underneath now. I don't know how I feel about the vertical lines. I feel like it's kind of a lot. This does take up a lot of room. So you're gonna have to do this for a big house. I'm gonna delete the lines, but I am gonna do the hack where she added like the bench and everything on there. So we had the two plants there. We had this plant too. I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit. And then she also kind of made this little bench, which is really cute. Using the laundry day thing and some dine out marble end tables. So I size them all down like this and I'm gonna try and raise up my ottoman just like that. I don't know if that's gonna be functional. It definitely would be if I left it the way that it was. And then for the chair, this was actually a base game chair. This is a pretty common thing to do where you use this base game chair in particular. Oh God, you guys can't see it. This one and you shrink it down and use that for pillows. So yeah, I'm kind of thinking this won't be functional here, but it does look cool. It's a good idea. That's how that turned out. I think I'm actually gonna delete this and replace it with a dream home decorator lounge piece. So yeah, just like this instead. And I might end up changing the color depending on what color scheme we go with in this house. Great idea. That's gonna be 100% functional. Very, very cute. Cool. Another plus about this way to do it with those platforms is this will not take up the entire part of your flooring. If I went in with the stairs the way that they were before, this would take up a lot more room. I hope that makes sense. Okay, let's move on to our next one. I think I have a few kitchen hacks that we can do. So I'm gonna get my flooring. I'm using Eco Lifestyle in here. I'm gonna do my lighting as well. So there's two kitchen hacks that I wanna try with this. This one is a plant and cutting board combo for clutter. I think it looks really, really cute. Just gonna be using this dream home decorator bowl with I think a get together plant in it. Yeah, that one's from get together and you kind of just like combine the two. I think it's gonna look adorable with the cutting boards on the side from cool kitchen stuff. This is the kitchen that I created. I think it's super cute. We've got all the essentials already, a little bit of decor. And then in this little nook, I have uh, some shelving with some clutter and my garbage. It's funny because I never knew that these were cutting boards. I was like, oh, these are supposed to go like up on the wall is like decor like that. Like I had no idea. <laughs> oh, okay, cutting boards right there. I'm gonna move this counter out of the way so that I can easily place things without it clipping. Dream home decorator bowl. This is the one here. I'm gonna use it in the white and black swatch. We're gonna raise it up and then shrink it. I honestly probably could do this even with the counter here. Yeah, it works no problem like that. I'm gonna go in and get the get together plant. So this one here, and obviously we're gonna have to shrink that quite a bit. That is a really cute build hack. I'm gonna be using that more often. You could probably use that in a bigger size too. That's super cute. I feel like this looks like custom content. You could even play around with the swatches. That's a cute hack. I like that one. This one's actually another kitchen hack, another cutting board hack, which is very, very easy. Obviously it looks like you're just prepping something not functional and might be kind of annoying to like have this stuff left out, but it's basically just a spot day end table raised up a little bit underneath the counter with some debug food on it. So this one here from spot day, we're gonna move the counter out of the way and raise 
raise this up a little bit. Actually, again, the counter can probably just stay there. So I'm gonna raise it about there. I'm also gonna shrink it because I thought it was just a little bit too big. We're gonna open up debug, bb.show hidden objects. I had to size mine back up because actually shrinking it made it hard to place things on this counter because you're technically placing it on the top of the end table. Unless you already had it placed like in the video, but I'm gonna make sure that it's on top of the cutting board. So you're just basically adding your carrots, your vegetables, your whatever with a knife there for prep. And I mean, I don't really know why you would want to do this. Maybe if you were taking screenshots or something, like it does look very lived in, but it does look cute. I like the idea for sure. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna leave mine. Maybe I'll leave that like flower thing there. Maybe that looks kind of cute. But other than that, we're gonna move on from the kitchen. This next one is a really cute Kleenex box hack. Really, you could use this wherever you want. I'm planning on using it in my bathroom. Really simple. All you need is this Kleenex box and Snowy Escape trash can. You're gonna shrink it down and put the two together essentially and you've got a cute Kleenex box holder. The game is really lacking in these. All we've got is the one and it's pretty realistic to have in your house. So let's make that in my bathroom. So here's my bathroom that I made over to the side. This one's just gonna be a guest bathroom, I think. All I've got really going on is a toilet for now, sink, and um, some candles, which honestly are probably not the best idea to have here where I'm about to put some paper. <laughs> but I'm gonna use this. We're gonna have to use the swatch in black. I think for it to work best, I'm gonna move some of my other stuff out of the way. I'm probably gonna have to rearrange it using Alt on my keyboard, just the way that counters like to clip, unfortunately. I think this is better for what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm gonna go in and use a swatch that uh, matches my color scheme. I'm gonna shrink this down and raise it up to meet my Kleenex box. <gasps> That's so cute. Oh, I like that. That looks like custom content too and it fits perfectly. I'm just gonna adjust a little bit. That hack is so good. You could change around the swatches too, whatever you want with that snowy escape garbage. That's genius. Again, you can use that wherever you want. I think it looks cute in my bathroom. It would also look nice on like a desk or something and maybe on a TV stand or an end table. I like that. That's really cute. Okay, so I've already done my living room and my dining area over to the side. I'm gonna do a desk moment in this corner here. The other hacks that I have to do are gonna have to do with the upstairs, so I am gonna finish this off. Can't forget that there are kids in this house, so I might add like a dollhouse over here or something. We've got our desk. So I lied. I am gonna end up using these eco lifestyle wall pieces, and I've got my living room in this kind of situation. Not really what I intended to have my living room like right there, but at least we've got a TV because upstairs I ran out of room and for what I want to do, I need this part to be sectioned off. We are going to make a really adorable reading nook. Mine might end up looking a little bit different because I do have the windows there and I don't think I want to get rid of them. But basically, we're going to use these bookshelves in the corner and we're going to put in a dream home decorator sectional piece as like a day bed in there. Would it look okay if I changed my windows to this and then I could use the dream home decorator bookshelves from the exterior? I think it looks okay still. So I'm going to line this area with these bookshelves. I think the ones they used in the video were actually base games, so you could use whatever you want here. I'm getting very much Ikea vibes from this here. So we've got our little nook. Now we're gonna go in and use the loungers and just place them in there very closely together. I think it's cute. I do like it. It's different. I don't know if this is functional though. It might be bookshelves. They're kind of weird because your sims don't really need to be right there to get the book. So this might be functional. I know you'll be able to sit down on here, but I do want to test this one. This next one is this really, really cute kids room idea in the Sims 4. So we're going to try this out. It's a fairly small room. We're gonna go in with some platforms. We're gonna raise it up and put some half walls on it. And the layout ends up looking something like this. I really like it. I think we could make it super cute. And it's a really good way to make a small space look more interesting. So let's do, maybe my platform will be right here. I'm gonna raise this up and then delete the walls and I'm gonna replace these with half walls. I could even raise this a little higher, I think. Depending on how big my stairs need to be. So I'm putting a cute little bed up here. I need to go in with my half walls still. I think I'm gonna go in with like a purpley color for my room. We've got a dresser up there. I'm gonna try and lay it out the same way that she did because I quite like how she did it. Look at how sweet that is. I would love this as a kid. I would love this now. I think the desk was from Nifty Knitting, which I think is a really cute idea for kids' rooms. Like this one here is really fun. It looks like just like arts and crafts underneath. We're gonna get the good old cat chair right there. And I think that's gonna be it for my desk area. Maybe I'll add a little more clutter. This might be my favorite kids room that I've ever done. I personally find it really hard to make kids rooms look cute while actually looking like a kids room. Just me personally, I find it kind of tricky, but this, the way it looks with the platform, I feel like looks so cute, very different. Definitely a great way to add more like dimension to your kids rooms. I'm gonna finish off the final rooms. I don't have any more hacks for the bathroom or the bedrooms. So let's finish this off and I'll show you when I'm done. So for my bedroom, I kind of want it to go a little bit warmer. The rest of the house is very cold, kind of like not very welcoming. 
I did an accent wall with this like paint from base game. The bed in there, dream home decorator making an appearance a lot in this bedroom. I also like the curtains. I feel like it's just a lot more of like a warm and welcoming vibe. And then for the bathroom over here, it's same kind of thing, just cold, very plain, very kind of like minimalist, just like the rest of the house, like downstairs and stuff. So that concludes our Sims 4 build hacks from TikTok, testing them out, seeing if they work. Let me know what your favorite one was in the comment section down below and if you end up using any of these. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.